Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft with Black Dog Z. Alright, so just a status update here guys, just letting you know where we're at. Alright, so if you take a look here, you're going to see a huge mining operation going on here. And this is actually just a server test. Um, we currently have approximately 30 different miners going, all bringing stuff into this place. So it's moving pretty quick. Most of them are starting to empty out now, though. But amazingly enough, backslash TPS, you'll see here that it's only taking 16 seconds, sorry, 16 milliseconds in order for the tip for the 20 tick time. That's great. Nothing seems to be lagging. We actually have quite a few people on the server. I don't think there's very many on right now. Um, yeah, it's just me, but uh, we do have about five or six people actually testing at different things, chunk loaders, running different miners and things like that. And that's just for our new server here. Now this is just a test world we're using to test the server, it's not the official one, but hopefully we'll be getting back to recording in the next couple of days. I just wanted to let you know where we were at and so you can see what was going on. You'll see here we have a huge tower of uh, Minecraft jewels that we're keeping everything running on. Um, we have a lava tank and it starts here actually, but I'm going to show you guys something here. Wanted to see what the limit was to building these things. And so far, I don't think we found a limit. Like, if I just come way down here, you'll see inside here is the tank. So that started way up there. And now we're way down here. And so as you can see, it's a huge tank. Um, it's actually multiple tanks, but we've just been expanding it just to see how that works. And just to make sure it's not going to cause any lag issues and things like that. We have miners just going crazy all over this area. Um, this was originally a volcano. It's not much of a volcano now. It's more of a workspace. And that's where all this lava came from, was from that volcano. And of course, we use tesseracts and all sorts of things to do this. We have about 20 timers, all sitting at 0.2. So they're going crazy. Um, somebody else is actually spawning creatures in over there. Uh, we got people working in the nether, just trying to get that. And as you, cause as you saw in the TPS, the nether is even more reliable at this point. Uh, we haven't been able to do as much in the nether, but we wanted to s make sure that everything was set up right. And so this test world seems to be working pretty good. Everything is working as we expected. There are a few items that have been turned off. Um, you'll see these chunk loaders here. If you were to actually try to build a chunk loader like this one, um, it would not actually allow you to. Um, the other thing that's been turned off is OmniWrench. The reason that OmniWrench has been turned off is we actually found a flaw with it. And basically what's ending up happening is the OmniWrench was uh, just able to like turn chests and things like that, which was perfectly fine, other than the fact that it was turning the secure chest in, um, in uh, Industrial Craft 2, and everything was getting lost. So that's a big troll that we didn't want to happen. So we did take that off the system so that that wouldn't happen. Um, you'll see here that this system seems to be going nicely and working exactly as we had intended. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any lag even with all this going on, so that's what I like to see. If we hit our F3 here, we can see that our FPS is uh, it's about 12 frames a second, but there's a lot going on here right now. Um, but that's client side, that's not server side. The server side, like I showed you before, backslash TPS, all runs on ticks. And if I go ahead and do that, we'll see here that still only around 16, 17 uh, milliseconds for uh, the 20 ticks, which is great. So it's running a little under 100%, but that's not bad at all, considering what we've got going right now with 30 miners all uh, pulling power from here in this Tesseract. Um, and then, of course, all of our stuff coming in from uh, ender chests and just being pumped into the system here. And so there's a lot of items moving around and things like that. So I'm quite amazed with how well this server is running. Um, right now there are three gigs of uh, RAM dedicated to the server, I believe. Um, this server actually does more than just Minecraft. It also runs uh, the Minecraft website that we're trying to get up and running. And uh, it also runs our TeamSpeak server. So at least that's the plan. I don't know if it's been fully implemented yet. So this server does quite a bit of stuff. Um, so everything is looking pretty good and we're hoping to have it up soon. So remember, um, what 
Well, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to try to get the server with quite a few people on it, see if that makes a difference. So with all this kind of stuff going, we're probably going to log a bunch of people in. It's again a test world. Um, so we might be looking for volunteers on that. That's hard to say. It wouldn't be long. It'd only be about an hour or two. You'd get a chance to play with creative mode on the server, have some fun, and uh, just see what you can generally wreck and things like that. So hopefully that uh, will happen. We'll see. So I'll let you guys know on that if we decide to uh, do that, if we can't get enough people privately. And um, we will just see what we can do. These things are kind of neat now. They allow you to hook up multiples. Now one thing we did find out was that a miner does get confused when you do this. So it's probably not a good idea. No, I can't turn that one off. Can't turn that one off. Can't turn this one off. <clears throat> so yeah, just a few things. You'll see I left a note here for the guys that are working. You'll have to do better than this to lag the server and also try to break stuff. So we've got a couple of things there. Um, we just want to make sure that uh, we have the server proper for you guys. I don't want the same thing to happen as last time. Uh, we actually found out what happened. There was approximately 600 wisps that were underneath the ground in that section was causing all sorts of weird stuff to happen on the server. Um, so that world's probably going to end up having to be deleted um, unless we want to go down and kill all the wisps. I really don't want to do that. So that world had pretty much come to an end anyway. And so we're going to bring you some new stuff. I plan on doing some major projects, not just the smaller ones you saw last time, but I've got uh, some lava stuff and different things in mind for you guys this uh, season. All right. The other thing that I will be doing is I hopefully right before this new server starts, I'm gonna log on to the old server and I'm gonna blow it up. So we're gonna be using nukes and things like that, and I'll record that for you guys just so you have a picture of that. You guys can check it out and uh, see that we've completely destroyed the old world. The other thing that I wanted to state is that we have decided what we're going to be doing is probably adventure maps on the other server. Uh, my plan is to invite people to come do adventure maps with me. Could be one of my fans, could be just about anyone. So if you want to do adventure maps, please let me know and I will try to include you in at least one of the adventure maps. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and take off here and uh, leave you with that. And uh, like I said, have a good evening.